I'm joined by Senator uh, Tom Udall from the state of New Mexico. Thank you so much for it's, joining me. I it's a pleasure. It. So, it's a pleasure. Uh, so you're uh, one of the 100 senators, but obviously on the Democratic side, who's going to be uh, putting questions and submitting questions. In fact, you already have yes. uh, for for the managers. What's the most important question you want answered? Well, there, there are a number of questions that are being asked. One of the ones I'm the, that I put in that I'm thinking about is the argument seems to be that we shouldn't even be having this trial. Just get rid of it because we have an election. Mm -hmm. And so I would frame that question to the House managers. How do you respond to the argument from the president's attorneys that we, we don't even need this? And, and one of the answers for me is this is an ongoing thing. I mean, the president is still doing everything he can to try to get this investigation. He's got Rudy so Giuliani your is more over of a there. Rhetorical one. Yeah. Well, no, they're going to be very specific right. issues that I think the House managers bring up. Okay, so obviously that's going to be happening on the on the floor. Uh, but what's really going on in right. the cloakroom, as you well know, are questions about whether there will be witnesses. Um, your Democratic colleague, uh, Joe Manchin, said this morning that you know maybe Hunter Biden. Biden, the, the former vice president's son, uh, is relevant. Let's listen to what he had to say. I want witnesses. Mm -hmm. I definitely want witnesses and evidence. And the only thing I've said is that there should be an adult in the room. That's Chief Justice uh, Roberts. We should vote again on Chief Justice, Justice Roberts being able to determine who is pertinent and who has uh, to the trials and the charges been brought. If Hunter Biden would be one of those people that Justice Roberts says is, is pertinent to the evidence uh, uh, or to the uh, trial, then Absolutely. What do you think about Hunter Biden? Dana, I, well, I don't think he has much to offer here because that's not focusing on the central issue. But one of the things I always try to do over here is figure out how to get beyond the partisanship. Because it seems it's not like... not easy these days. Yeah. Well, will you go back and forth on these witnesses. Why don't we let the Chief Justice rule on relevancy and materiality? That's in the so rules for the Senate. So you Senator Manchin on Oh, that. yeah, yeah. And, and, uh, and I've been working with Chris Van Hollen. We had a motion to that effect. I think we should put that motion up. Number one, right right behind uh, the vote on the witnesses. And we should say, let's let the Chief Justice rule. He's very familiar with what's relevant in, in a legal proceeding like this. So that's what I would do. That's I, rolling I the would, dice, because it could mean that uh, that he could decide that Hunter but, Biden, for whatever but, reason, is relevant. Absolutely. It would, okay it would, it would, I would be OK him making a decision on relevancy. It's a lot better than us fighting on these partisan things of this witness, that witness, back and forth. Should there be a trade, all of those kinds of one, things. One last question. A, a big discussion in the hallways yesterday and even this morning was uh, Senator Lankford's idea to bring the Bolton manuscript to Capitol Hill. We've been talking to some experts who have been saying, well, wait a minute, that might not even be allowed. Uh, how, how can the, the president and the White House even be allowed to give over a manuscript that maybe is um, protected by executive privilege. You're an attorney. What do you think? Well, I think the president's attorneys have already argued this is inadmissible. And the reason it would be inadmissible be, is because the best testimony is to bring the live witness. And so that's what we should be doing. Okay. Uh, and clearly, if they're arguing over and over again, that um, we haven't heard firsthand mm -hmm. from the president doing what we say he's doing here, which is really awful. The, uh, um, the two witnesses, Mulvaney and Bolton, talk to him every day. Yep. They know what he was doing in these circumstances. Senator, thank you so much thank for your you. time. Appreciate Anna, it. Thank you. Thank you.